this question, we're asked to sketch on the same diagrams the graphs of y equals 4a squared subtract x squared and y equals 2x subtract a, where a is a positive constant. Show in terms of a the coordinates of any points where the graph meet the uh, coordinate axes. Okay, so let's take, take our time with this. Firstly, y is equal to 4a squared subtract x squared. If x is equal to 0, then y would be equal to 4a squared. So we know that 0, 4a squared is a point of, of crossing the axis. Also, if y is equal to 0, on the other hand, we would be solving 0 is equal to 4a squared subtract x squared. Adding x squared to both sides, x squared is equal to 4a squared. And square rooting, and this is important, x is equal to 2a or negative 2a. Okay, so don't, whatever you do, forget that when you, the operation of taking square roots gives you a positive and negative answer. So we've got coordinates here, 2a0, and we've got negative 2a0. It's a quadratic and it's an n-shaped. So we've got a quadratic and n-shaped. Okay, so we probably have everything we need there to draw that one. Now, or what about the other one? I'll draw it in a different colour. So if y was equal to the modulus, what is it, of 2x subtract a, 2x subtract a, like that. Well, a and a is a positive constant. This is just going to be like the graph, uh, like y equals 2x subtract a, like a straight line graph, which would obviously cross at negative a here. It would be a straight line graph like that with gradient 2. But the modulus means that anything below the axis, like all this stuff here, would just be reflected up the axis like that. And it would cross, where would it cross? Well, when y is equal to 0, you'd be solving 0 is equal to 2x subtract a, and you'd get yourself that x is equal to a over 2. So, let's attempt to draw both of these then on the same axis. This one here, I'm going to draw it in. This one here is going to look something like this. And this coordinate here is going to be a over 2 and 0. And the other one is a quadratic, and we said it's 2a or negative 2a. So negative 2a is all the way over here. So negative 2a, 0, and 2a, 0 is all the way over here. And it's an n-shaped graph, so it's going to look something like this. Like that. Okay? And let's not forget to put in this coordinate here of uh, 0, 4a squared as well. Okay? And then it says, find the exact solutions of the following equation. Right. So clearly, um, if we're solving this equation, 4 subtract x squared is equal to uh, 2x subtract, or the modulus of 2x subtract 1, it's very like the two graphs we've drawn, apart from a has been chosen to be 1. So a in this case is clearly going to be chosen to be 1. Okay, So we can see we're going to have two solutions here and here. And the first solution we're going to get, so the first solution is at this point. It's where this part of the graph equals this graph. Now this part of the graph is just the normal 2x subtract 1 graph. So this is where 4 subtract x squared is equal to 2x subtract 1. And the other solution is going to be here, with this part of the graph. Now that's the negative of 2x subtract 1. So that's when the 4 subtract x squared graph is equal to the negative of 2x subtract 1. Okay? So because it's the 2x subtract 1 graph made negative, so it's flipped it. So we're going to have two solutions, one from each of these. So let's just do the algebra for these. I'm going to add x squared to both sides and take away 4. 0 is equal to x squared, add 2x, take away 5. Um, and then I'm going to, um, going to get solutions there. And here I'm going to do the same thing, add x squared to both sides. Well, firstly, let me expand the brackets. 4 subtract x squared is equal to negative 2x, add 1. Add x squared to both sides, take away 4. 0 equals x squared, take away 2x, um, and take away 3. So trying to factorise this, this is going to be x... Um, subtract 3, add 1, so therefore x is, we're going to get two answers here, 
we're going to get that x is equal to negative 1 or x is equal to 3. Which is the one we want? Well, um, the one we want is clearly the negative 1 one. Look at the graph up here. We want where x is negative. I have solved the, this graph, uh, the whole of this graph equals this graph. And there is another solution, but it's, we're going to ignore that solution because that's not part of our modulus graph. So we're going to ignore this solution. So let's continue with the algebra over here and try and get our answer here. Quadratic formula here. So you can get your calculator out and you can say mode, um, mode equation 5. And it's a quadratic, which is number 3. And it's 1x squared, 2x, negative 5. And we get that the answer is x is equal to negative 1 plus root 6, negative 1 plus root 6, or x is equal to negative 1, subtract root 6. Now clearly the solution I want here is where the x is a positive number, so I'm going to want that one, so I'm going to ignore this one here. So the solutions, therefore, are going to be x equals uh, negative 1 add root 6 or x is equal to negative 1.